Hello everyone, my name is Abby Bliss White and welcome to my channel. Today we are going to have fun playing with Burberry makeup. I'm going to do a full face of Burberry makeup. So we're going to start with some complexion. I finally picked up the Burberry. This is the Essential Glow palette. So excited to be playing with that. I have a pretty eye palette that we're going to be using on my eyes today. And of course a classic Burberry lipstick. So if you are interested in seeing how I created this look using all Burberry makeup, then let's go ahead and get started. Okay, you guys, I am so excited. We are doing a little Burberry binge and I've been dying to try some of their makeup for a while. I have bought some eyeshadows and a few lipsticks in the past. I did have a foundation but I have a whole little look that we're going to do today so I'm so excited and this is how the products showed up. Came in this kind of fun little Burberry kind of brown bag and I finally picked up the Essential Glow Palette. So I'm so excited. Let's take a peek at this beauty here. And yes, I do want to pick up that new Runway Eye Palette. It is not available here in the U.S., but I'm keeping my eyes peeled on this. But this just looks so pretty. So I was so excited to finally get my hands on this. And then I did pick up the Fresh Glow. This is the Nude Radiance number one. So we're going to start with this. And I have had a sample of this prettiness. This is basically kind of like a radiance primer. You can wear it on its own without foundation and I do not have a Burberry foundation. Everything online seem to be out of stock so I have a feeling that they are revamping their line so we'll have something fun to look forward to but I remember loving this kind of radiance kind of glow so I'm going to use this today and I'll give you a quick swatch here and here is a swatch of this nude radiance glow and I remember really liking it because it gave kind of a subtle radiance wasn't too over the top so I am going to use this today all over my face and then I do have a concealer so we'll probably use the concealer kind of like foundation mm. So you guys, it feels really super hydrating. Now the Burberry look is all about kind of glowy skin, kind of a classic look. And this is described as giving you that classic glowy Burberry look. This is a 55% water infused primer. And I do have to tell you, it feels super kind of cooling and hydrating on the skin. And I love the fact that this is not super shimmery. So it says it has a blend of mirror flat intense reflection pearls so that it's going to kind of blur any imperfections but it's not going to have a shimmery finish on the skin and I do find that with a lot of primers I do love the look but can sort of detect a little bit of shimmer on your skin whereas this one I'm definitely seeing a glow and I'm, I'm hoping you guys can see it as well it's very glowy but if you came up and looked at my skin right now you're not going to detect any kind of shimmer so it says this is a universal skin illuminating base it is water based and multi-use meaning you can use it kind of like I did as a primer you can use this as a highlighter um, just by itself and you can also mix it in to your foundations as well so we're going to start with this glowy finish and then I did pick up the Burberry 
This is the Cashmere Concealer. So this is a soft matte corrector and I ended up buying this in the shade Porcelain Number no. 1. They had several lighter shades than that. So Porcelain Number no. 1 was what I picked up. And it is one that you kind of are going to push the product up. Here we go. It's starting to pop through the little sponge. And we'll take a peek at this. And this is the shade Porcelain. And I'm going to kind of use this underneath my eyes, but also kind of as foundation today since we don't have a Burberry one. So I am going to go ahead, oops, <laughs> put a little bit in my kind of darker sockets and then I'm just going to do a few dots around the face because this might be a teeny bit light. So we're going to start with that and then I can kind of blend it out and see how that works on my skin. To be honest, when I'm swatching it, I feel like it is going to kind of work to even out my skin. So this is the finish, sort of a soft matte, but I don't know if you guys can see, there's definitely some coverage there. So I'm going to first start just with my fingertips. And you guys, it has a little bit of a thicker kind of consistency. I probably just put on way too much, but we can blend, blend, blend. So do not worry. It feels very lovely. It actually feels very like hydrating on the skin. It doesn't feel drying. So this cashmere concealer, you guys knew I was going to be intrigued by this, right? This says it was inspired by the soft Scottish cashmere. It's supposed to have kind of a soft, luxurious feel to it. It's described as, this is described as a soft matte concealer with a cashmere kind of soft touch. So it's supposed to have full coverage, which I would agree, you guys, this provided a lot of coverage. When I first put it on, I was like, oop, this is going to be too aging, but I have to say it's kind of melted into my skin, and I feel like it just looks fresh, not overly drying or anything like that. So, so far, I'm really liking this, and it is living up to the claims of being very soft, having full coverage, and feeling kind of like it's going to be long-lasting. So no budging or anything like that so far. Just going to take a little bit more, you guys. I'm going to put a little bit on the redness where my cheeks are teeny red, but it seems to be working pretty well as a foundation as well today since we don't have one. I'm trying to remember. I did have one. I want to say the cashmere one. This was back when Burberry kind of launched their makeup collection and I had some of those single eyeshadows and really did enjoy that. Okay guys, here's what I have on so far. So I've got this Nude Radiance Primer on, so I'm seeing a little bit of a glow. And then I use the Porcelain Concealer, and we can definitely warm up the skin with the palette next. So, so far kind of leaving complexion like that. And then we're going to play with this beautiful one. So this is in the light medium. And you guys, they feel absolutely silky. And this is kind of a swatch of the top row. This right here is actually a cream or gel base. So that's going to be sort of your contour. So here is the first row row. And as I said, you guys, this is a very creamy kind of contour. And then we've got a pretty pink blush and then a highlighter. So the sculpt is fair brown. We've got light pink blush and highlight white. So I swatched this top row here. So this is up here. And then I swatched the bottom row. And then on the bottom row, it is saying Sculpt Light 
brown, blush pink, blush pink, and then the highlight is going to be pink pearl. So I'm actually going to start with the sculpt with my finger here. We're going to use this and we're going to kind of place this underneath Ooh, the cheekbone. Don't be scared. We're going to do a little bit of sculpting with that because it is a creamy kind of product. So this is your contour. <laughs> Don't worry, we're going to fix it. Okay, I'm really liking the cream contour so far. And now we're gonna go ahead and put on some blush. So I am tempted to kind of mix the two of these together and put on a little bit of a pink flush here. So first I will, so I'm just gonna kind of dip these together and then we'll put on a little bit of this pink kind of flush here. Okay, you guys, I'm loving the blushes. Definitely has kind of a pretty finish on the skin. Nice, fresh kind of pink colors. And then I'm actually gonna take a little bit of this sculpt right here. And we're actually gonna place a little bit of that underneath. So I just kind of wanna see how this is supposed to play. It's kind of like, this one is more like the bronzer. So I'm putting a little bit of that kind of underneath here. Then I am kind of attracted to this kind of pink pearl kind of highlighter. So I'm gonna use that and then I'll use the white kind of just right in the inner corners of my eyes. I actually think that we could kind of create a whole look just from this palette. Like I could use some of these as eyeshadows. I'm going to use that in the inner corner, but for today I do have an eye palette. So we'll use the eye palette, but I'm just going to put a little bit of this pretty pearlized pink highlighter on. And I'm gonna dip just a little bit here in this white kind of highlighter. We're gonna go ahead and put that right in that little, we're gonna go ahead and use that in the inner corners. Okay guys, we've kind of got a little complexion going on, definitely glowy, and so far, and so far I'm actually really liking the textures, the way that it's gliding on the skin. So, so I'm finding this to be super high quality and I do love these tones. Okay, next I have a little eye quad and it comes in a little velvet pouch like this and then it has little brushes that, then it has, little Burberry brushes and I don't generally use those but I do like this one right here it's kind of an angled one and I do love to use those for kind of using eyeshadow as liner and then this one is in number 10 this is rose pink so let's open this up and look at this soft pretty quad right here. Now, as I've said, I've had some of these wet dry shadows in the past, which I really enjoyed. And to me, this just looks like a really pretty kind of soft eye, kind of perfect for spring. So this is number 10 in rose pink. So here is a swatch of number 10 here. So pretty, you guys. 
So we've got kind of two shimmery shades towards the end. We've got a beautiful taupe and then that beautiful rose. So we're gonna have a little bit of fun creating a soft eye look today. Little kind of romantic-y kind of pink or spring look today. So I think I'm going to start with the taupe shade. We're going to start by creating a little crease and then I'm going to intensify it with that rose. Starting with this pretty taupe shade here. So you guys, I just did a light wash of that taupe and these shadows are just coming on like butter. I kind of forgot what good quality they are. And then I want to come in with this rose and kind of intensify in that crease. As you can see, these are very pigmented. Don't worry, we are going to, don't worry, we are going to blend everything out. But I just kind of wanted to go ahead and intensify the color with that rose just a teeny bit. I'm going to close my eyes, you guys. That's taupe and that rose shade. And then I'm so excited. I'm going to be using this pretty one. I'm going to be using this beautiful kind of pearly pink kind of on the lid. I'm using a flat edged brush here just to add a little bit of that pigment on. And I'm going to take that from the inner part of the eye and I'm just kind of putting that on the lid. Definitely it's got some shimmer to it. And I'm just using a little bit of this kind of ivory shade, just a little bit. I'm just gonna put that up in the brow bone and And it was funny because this little shade here is much more kind of um, shimmery than I was expecting. Very pretty, but it kind of glammed up this whole eye look. So I will know to go with a little teeny lighter hand next go around. Okay guys, here's this rose pink. Don't worry, once we put on a little eyeliner and some mascara, everything's going to look a little bit more grounded. And I did pick up the Burberry. This is the Cat Eyeliner. And this one is in number two, Chestnut Brown. Now you guys know I'm horrible with liquid eyeliner, but I'm going to give it a go. So here is one end with liquid just like this, but this looks like I might even be able to use it. And then on the other side, we have the Saving Grace here. It's got a lovely kind of, it's got a lovely chestnut brown kind of powder on the other side. So don't worry, we're gonna use this side on the bottom here. I'm gonna go ahead and try cat eyeliner today because we're just playing with makeup and I might as well see if I can do it. So be kind. I'm gonna take a minute to try this. I'm just gonna start. Okay guys, that was just trial number one. So I'm gonna start out here, you guys. My eye shape naturally curves down. That's the reason I don't really do wings because I find it kind of awkward to be kind of 
placing it a little bit up, but I need to to kind of lift my eye. So I'm going to just start a little bit over here. And there we go. I'm going to work from Please don't laugh. Try it a little bit of liquid eyeliner here. We're going to go ahead and we are going to soften it with this other side here. And I'm going to just take this and kind of put it on the top, close to the lash line. So I'm going to go ahead and take this kind of spongy side and I'm just going to come near the lash line. Now I will tell you, for someone who doesn't know how to do liquid eyeliner, the pen was super easy to use. It is just that I don't typically do a cat eye. And just run a little bit of that underneath. Okay guys, we have attempted a little bit of a cat eyeliner. I know, not great at that. And I used the other side just to soften it a bit. I need to go put on mascara. This will bring everything together and then we'll finish off the okay. face. Okay guys, we have got mascara on, attempted the cat eye, but I'm just gonna close my eyes and just show you that rose pink eye so far. Then we're going to end with a classic Burberry lip. This one is in English Rose, and this is in the Full Kisses formula. So these are the ones that come that look like this. So I have had another color. I'm forgetting which one it was, but I do really enjoy this formula. It's a little bit more creamy, and I just kind of love the applicator of this. So we are going to... And here is this pretty shade. This is in English Rose. Now I don't have a Burberry powder, so I'm just gonna quickly put a little dusting of my Christian Dior. This is the Forever, Forever Cushion Foundation Powder. And I'm just gonna quickly just kinda set everything because I definitely feel like I've got a glow going on. Okay guys, this is the final full face of Burberry and so far I have loved every single thing in here. I do need to kind of up my cat eyeliner skills so I am going to watch some tutorials on that but I really did have to say if you are someone who does really like a liquid eyeliner, this pen was super easy to use, especially for a novice like myself. I found it to be actually quite easy. I just need to kind of practice a little bit more. As far as the eyeshadow look, I really enjoy these shadows. Probably use a little lighter hand on that pink because it's definitely got some shimmeriness to it. I think it creates a super pretty eye. But just FYI, probably could have used a little lighter hand on the on that this is super pigmented it kind of creates a just soft kind of romantic pink rose eye so it is perfect for spring and, and I am in love with this palette I cannot wait to get my hands on the little runway spring 
eye palette. So I believe that's going to be launching soon. So I'm excited for that. And then I do have to say as far as the complexion products, so I'm definitely loving this nude radiance. I think the reason I'm liking it, it isn't one of those shiny kind of primers. It does give your skin a glow, but it doesn't have any kind of detection of shimmery underneath the skin. And again, today I only used the concealer and this together. And I really kind of love this concealer. So I'm kind of surprised, but it has a nice texture to it. It has some coverage to it. So it's great for all over your face. So loving that. And, and again, I've already liked the formula of the Full Kisses by Burberry. And the English Rose is just sort of a classic Burberry tone. And I just really like it. Now, you know, I usually finish with fragrance of the day. And I'm afraid I do not have a Burberry fragrance. I probably have some sample in my house, but but since I'm wearing pink and the sun is shining, I think I'm going to pull out my Delina Exclusif. You guys, I've kind of fallen in love with this again. You guys, I've kind of fallen in love with this again since the weather has started to shift and I've just been in this kind of soft pink kind of floral mode. So my personal favorite from the Delina collection is the Exclusif. This one's a little bit creamier. This one's a little bit warmer. It doesn't have that sharp kind of rhubarb kind of note in it, even though I do enjoy that. This one I just kind of find to be sort of the older sister of the Delina range and it's just a little bit more sophisticated just a little bit creamier and the florals in here are just gorgeous there's a reason why Delina is popular and that is because it just has a beautiful mix of florals that is hard to duplicate. So I'm going to be doing a fun video with my daughter because she is 18. She is a fan of Delina and we have all three of them to share with you. And I kind of wanted to give you guys a rundown of all three and who they may be appropriate for. So today I'm just going with the full on pink mode. And you guys, I hope you enjoyed this full face of Burberry makeup. I'm so excited. I have a feeling that they are revamping things. Seems like they're trickling out some new stuff. A lot of their foundations are sold out online, so I'm kind of thinking they must be doing a revamp. I do not know this for sure. Just giving you my kind of inkling of what's going on there. But I needed to have a little bit of fun with Burberry. I wanted to give a little shout out to C. She is a subscriber who loves to style me and she nudged me towards these beautiful Burberry products. So thank you as always. You are the absolute best. I love you guys' recommendations and suggestions. So keep them coming. And you guys, I hope you have a fabulous weekend and I'll be back with another video soon.